Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and today I'm playing Skyrim, as you can tell. Now, if you've played Skyrim before, or you currently play Skyrim, you can probably tell that my Skyrim looks a little bit different. So I'm actually running a ENB kind of lighting mod, I guess you could call it, called the Jasmine ENB. I got it off the Nexus mods. It's pretty incredible. It actually, and this may not be for everybody, but what it does is it makes a lot of the colors a lot more vibrant. It actually brightens up the game a little bit. I think some people would probably use the term oversaturated, but I actually feel like it's more vibrant and clear than the actual game. To me, this seems more realistic. You can see my sword just kind of shining in the sunlight. I just feel like this particular lighting system that I installed actually looks better than the actual real game. And I think a lot of these EMB modifications that people make really are kind of, you know, it's really to each his own in many ways because there's a lot of things you know a lot of those EMBs make them the game look drastically different like this one and it just may not be your cup of tea right so this for this for example is kind of what I like I found that all the other EMBs kind of make the lighting darker or they don't they make the caves really dark or you know I guess that's more realistic the way they did it because obviously a cave with no light source is going to be dark but I just like this high fantasy kind of style that this particular mod has. Here I am finding some mud crabs, which I think look even more incredible with this lighting mod than they did originally. Look how much detail is in that mud crab. And I feel like in every movie I make about Morrowind or Oblivion, I'm always examining the mud crabs and exclaiming how amazing the mud crabs look. But uh, I guess that's just kind of kind of how I roll. I'm kind of running a bunch of other mods too, and I can talk about those later. I'm kind of just putting out this Skyrim video just because I'm been playing the game a lot and putting a lot of mods into it so there is a chance that I'll start doing videos that are dedicated just to certain mods in fact there's a mod called uh, Vilja the companion mod and it's actually made by the same people who made the Vilja companion mod from Oblivion so they've kind of continued the storyline on that and that's that's a really cool companion mod and I'm having, I have a feeling it's gonna be one of the most popular mods available for Skyrim it just came out you can also tell uh, you probably just saw that Hold on, let's let's go check these guys out. These are Thalmor. I want to see them up close in this new system. I always like to kill the Thalmor because I feel like they're just racist, kind of jerks. They're these high elf guys. Thalmor just a car. So there's three of them here. I should be able to take these guys. So we're gonna we're gonna take these guys out. Now, one thing I had with this Jasmine EMB mod is that I'm actually using the lowest setting on it. So I'm actually using the the most basic bare I'm turning the subtitles on here because I want you guys to see the text the most basic bare bones version of this mod which means because I tried the high end version and it pretty much brought my computer to its knees so I'm actually using the lowest end version of it with no um, SSAO and no depth of field and all those kind of fancy things that these mods can do and actually in many ways I, I don't really see a whole lot of difference between the lowest end version and the high end version except that it actually runs on my computer and uh, it's just popping up here. And actually, I'm running Fraps, and Fraps is really taking a real huge hit on my frames per second for Skyrim. But it's not too bad, actually. It actually seems like it's running pretty well, and I'm actually able to video and, and still play to some extent. So that's a good sign, especially with all the kind of stuff I've been doing to this. I'm actually using other things too. You may notice I've got a. Uh, just kind of. This is the funniest thing about Skyrim is that you can pop your inventory open in the middle of a battle, which is completely unrealistic, and kind of, you know, kind of futz with your backpack and take items out of it while you're in the middle of fighting. Which is kind of funny. Oh, oh, and I got my. What? The, where did that guy come from? I have no idea where that guy came from. That is. That's weird. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back at the spot where I fought the Thalmor, and of course, per Skyrim, none of the bodies are here. They're all gone. And I can't, so I can't loot them and take their cool elven armor or anything. That was just weird because there were clearly only three Thalmor and a fourth came out of nowhere. Or one of them got resurrected or something bizarre. Um, anyway. So, what I was saying was I've got multiple mods on here. I've not only got the EMB Jasmine kind of lighting mod, which I think is a pretty impressive. I've got the DLC for the HD textures from the, it's the official uh, DLC that gives high high textures from Bethesda, but I've also downloaded a 
HD texture pack off the Nexus mods as well. I'm going to I'm going to link all the mods I have currently in my description just so you guys have them. I, you know, like I said, I'll probably make more videos about specific mods and that sort of thing, but some imperial guys just standing around a dead wolf doing absolutely nothing. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is Yeah, of course I'm interfering with business. their laziness standing on the road with a wolf. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so my point is is that um I've got a lot of high HD things kind of running here, and it seems like I've kind of found the sweet spot where it actually will run and actually look somewhat decent, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the other thing I've got, you can see as I zoomed out here, she's wearing kind of like a fur helmet, and I'm actually using Immersive Armors mod, which has an amazing number of armors that actually seem a lot more, like they fit in a lot more into the Skyrim world. Uh, instead of having like metal helmets, sometimes they're actually wearing like these fur helmets covering the metal, which makes a little more sense from a from a realistic perspective. And you know, there's you go to like some of the pirate people, and they actually have got like tricorner hats and that sort of thing. It, they've really done a great job with the immersive armors mod. That may be something I kind of w you know show at some point. Show these mods. I'm gonna own these wolves real quick here. So my quest right now is to actually go find these witches that I need to get their heads. I'm doing the companions quest. But really the main point of this video, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here relatively shortly. I'm going to keep it relatively short. Maybe we can run up to the witches and all that is, is that there is a lot of stuff in this game. And, you know, I, I haven't played it since it came out. I'm probably late to the party completely on this stuff. But um, I'm really enjoying just running through Skyrim and kind of messing around. So let me, you know what, I'm going to run and... and kill these witches and I'm going to show you the beginnings of the Vilja mod so you get an idea of what that mod is all about. It just came out and I haven't gotten too deep into it so it's kind of going to be my first impressions of that mod. Um, really it's first impressions of this EMB mod and that Vilja mod I guess is kind of what I'm going to end up talking about in this video so be right back. Okay so I'm going to show you this Vilja mod really quick. I'm actually back in Whiterun. She shows up in the Bannered Mirror when you install it. And this is one of the most incredible mods because the voice actress that they did for this, she's, you know, she's not, like, spectacular, but she's, you know, a lot better than the voice actors in the actual Skyrim game, in my opinion. So that may not be saying a whole lot. But regardless, her name is Vilja, and she has, you know, a quest that you take here, and this quest is to... Help her find this bottle of hers that that is essentially like this powerful bottle. And then she wants you to help her find this emerald sanctuary. So there's basically a, a, a number of quests involving her. And then she can do a whole host of things is what I'm finding. She has her own horse that she can ride. She, of course, will help you in combat, much like the other companions in Skyrim. She will, of course, carry a lot of your stuff. She will equip a lot of your stuff, so you can actually give her ar special armor and that sort of things, and she'll equip that. She will actually read books to you, so this voice actress, they recorded, I think it's over 1,400 lines of voice dialogue, which is pretty impressive. So they've put a lot of work into this mod, and I'm sure it'll continue to be updated and continue to become, I think, one of the most popular companion mods out there. And there's a lot to it. There's a, she, she also does other things. She will... Uh, lead you, you to certain that. areas you so you can Thank do you, you can talk so to her much. and it really there's just a whole host of stuff when you initiate conversation with this companion the options are limitless she'll harvest items for you you can actually specify that she go and harvest certain items nearby by pointing at them and she will actually go and do that she will uh, attack creatures that you point at so she is a very controllable very cool companion mod that they've done and you can see there's some other guys here this is a quest actually that I'm doing for the companion mod and these guys are actually voice act voice well I don't know if you call them voice actors but they're people who basically lent their voices to the mod and they've also done a great job in terms of getting all these voices into the game they've also tied this mod really well to the past versions of it in Oblivion and so that's neat because the story just kind of ties together as to one you know, total things. So I'm not going to show you these talking to all these guys, but let me let me let me show you some more stuff about her that is cool. I thought that this was pretty impressive. I barely caught recording on this. She should have been recording the whole time when I was playing with playing this particular game. But she's actually this this companion. I don't know if other companions do this or not. Like I said, I haven't. I don't. I've never actually installed a companion mod before. I just picked this one up because it seemed like it was something I was familiar with from the past. But 
she's actually having a conversation with one of the NPCs in the game. So they've actually kind of mined out the conversation that uh, the Adrian Avenici blacksmith here has, and then combined it with voice acting from this voice actor. So uh, very cool stuff when they can do stuff like that. It really makes you feel immersed in the game. So, of course, the other stuff you can do is give her books that she will then read, and that's really neat. You can give her, like, for example, she, she actually mentioned it. She says, uh, you know, I noticed you have the book Thief's Virtue in your inventory. If you give it to me, I'll read it. And so then you can actually give her these books, and she will actually read them out yes. loud to you, which is another nice thing because maybe you, you don't necessarily feel like reading the book, but you want to hear somebody read it to you in the game, and that's pretty neat. Of you can course. change her fighting strategy. Just you can change how she follows you. You can change... You know where she considers home to be. So if you want to dismiss her for a while, uh, you can just do a multitude of options that I find to be pretty impressive. You sure and are uh, I, I see myself using are, this yeah. companion mod for a long time. So that's kind of my look at the villager mod. I'm gonna end this up showing you some, sure, just some Skyrim combat, I guess. Just something, something simplistic. So here we are, actually at the Halted Steam Camp, which is actually right north of White Run. I'm gonna go in here and take some of these bandits out with Vilja at my side. You can see her going in there. She's just going crazy here. These guys are now you can kind of see how my lighting pack has affected these graphics. Actually, you can see the armors that they're wearing are different than the normal armors to some extent. These these bandits, and uh, you can see that the, like I'm also using a better female face mod I think by Bella which is a real popular mod and I think I'm actually using the natural edition so they don't have makeup and all that weird stuff that, that seems kind of out of place in Skyrim they actually look more normal so now one thing I will say about this lighting mod oh that's cool I got the wolf there is that it it does make things look a little plasticky you can see like their bodies look almost like shiny or something so it almost looks like they're, they're plastic but I, I kind of like that I guess I'm Kind of a World of Warcraft holdover. I really like stuff to be a little more cartoony and not as realistic as Skyrim is probably intended to be. You can see her skin on this character is actually kind of shiny, like <laughs> it's made of plastic. But like I said, I like it like that. I think it 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 just looks very vibrant and unreal, and and I like that kind of look. Although I think the oh that's the other thing I have is a water mod as well. I'll include that in the description. You can see the water in the distance there. It looks pretty realistic. So. Um, you know, I saw there was a guy on YouTube that actually made a video where he installed every single mod that you could possibly install, probably in the thousands. And of course, his game was a complete disaster, but it was a pretty funny video, so do a search on that someday. <laughs> but anyway. So, alright, so here I am giving her stuff to see what she can kind of wear. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed my fairly quick video of me just kind of showing off my Skyrim, the mods that I have going, this companion mod, and some of the lighting and all that stuff and the armor mods and the weapon mods. I didn't even talk about the weapon mods that I have. But I hope you enjoyed. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look of what I've been up to in the past few weeks. Of course, I've been busy with stuff in my own life and but I always find some time for gaming. So, uh, keep checking back. Thanks for joining me.